Welcome to Operations Management course. In this lecture, we will learn decision-making tools. Decision-making tools is helpful in tabulating decision options and finding the best solution for the situation. In this lecture, we will learn the methods to discern the best decision alternative by incorporating probability into the quantitative model. Look at the structure of this course again. We have now covered three-fourths of the course topics. We learned quality, process, and inventory decisions, and now we embark on capacity portion of operations management. We kick off capacity topics with decision-making tools. This lecture is divided into three parts. Decision-making tools, EMV, namely expected monetary value, and EVPI, expected value of perfect information, and exercises that cover what we learned in this course. Managers are decision makers. The success or failure of both people and companies depends on the quality of their decisions. Overcoming uncertainty is a manager's challenge. The question is this. What makes the difference between a good decision and a bad choice? A good decision stems from a good logic, insight, and data. Today, we will learn an approach that will make us more logical and insightful. In particular, good managers take pros and cons of decisions into careful consideration, and the topic of this course will help us to consider those alternatives together. Decision-makers face a spectrum of alternatives when making decisions. Should I make an investment or not? If making an investment, where and how much? How many products should I make? Where to open a store? How, money, how much money to borrow? It is better to buy or sell. Good managers spell them out and scrutinize the pros and cons of each alternative. You can take advantage of good models available for decision making, such as decision tree and decision table. There are certain steps to follow in an effort to arrive at the decision making. Here, um, I want to point out six steps. The first one is identify the problem and influencing factors, relevant parameters. Second is establishing the decision criteria such as goals and objectives. Third step is generating alternatives by varying the values of the parameters. Fourth step is selecting the best alternative. Fifth one is implement the chosen alternative. And last one is monitor the result to assure desired result uh, whether they are achieved or not. Depending on risk, managers should make decisions. When a company has a large buffer of cash, a manager may be able to afford more risks and take risk-prone projects. When competition runs high and the resources are stretching thin, a company should become more risk-aversive and take stable projects. Usually, risk-prone projects yield a higher return on investment. There are three approaches to take under uncertainty. Max-Max is optimistic decision criteria. It chooses the best alternative that maximizes the maximum outcome for every alternative. Managers who take this approach should choose the outcome with the highest gain. The second approach is Max-Mean choice a pessimistic decision criteria. In this approach, managers pick the outcome with the least possible loss. The Laplace choice is the equally likely pick. It assumes each state of nature is equally likely to occur. EMV, expected monetary value, is the value that takes 
probability into account and calculate together. The highest average outcome will be the chosen one. Here is an uncertainty example. Say you have two scenarios. The one is constructing a large plant and the other is constructing a small plant. You can also choose not to do anything. Assume that you have only two options in the market, favorable market and unfavorable market. According to maximum view, you want to choose the state of nature that maximizes the payoff for the scenario. So in, under favorable market, the maximum um, in row is that you want to choose the best or maximum value. So um, the option is constructing large plant. So here it produces $200,000 on the favorite market status and negative $180,000 on the unfavorable market status. And uh, in, under the view of maximum, maximum max view, you have to choose the best uh, value, which is $200,000. Sim similarly, you will choose the maximum um, on the alternative of construct small plant, and that's $100,000. And do nothing has the same value of zero, so you can just put uh, zero. And among this maximum in row, you want to choose the maximum that is $200,000. And that's your choice of maximax. What about minimum in row? So you want to choose the minimum in this column of these alternatives. So under uh, construct large plant alternative, we have $200,000 or negative $180,000 and you want to choose negative $180,000 here and for the second alternative negative $20,000 is the minimum so you want to choose that and the third one is zero and amongst these uh, minimum values zero is the maximum so maximum min value will be zero and Laplace value is row averages so you just choose the average of these two values, 200,000 plus negative 180,000 divided by 2 will give you uh, $10,000. Similarly, you will do the same calculation for this, then you get $40,000, and then do nothing, $0. And among them, the maximum is $40,000. So uh, in your Laplace decision, your choice will be $40,000. So again, to reiterate, um, Maximax choice will be construct a large plant because that uh, produces the largest value. Max mean, the pessimistic view or conservative view, is doing nothing because that's the minimum or just that's the value, uh, maximum value that it creates. And row average uh, or Laplace alternative, Laplace option produces forty thousand dollar chooses this one as the uh, recommendation. So constructing a small plant would be Laplace uh, uh, recommendation. Let's do another, um, on, another exercise uh, with this one. We have small plant, medium plant, and large plant. So we have three alternatives. And in this case, we have three options or uh, market conditions, low, moderate, and high conditions. And uh, according to max max, you want to choose uh, the maximum value that this alternative would produce. So we see 9,000 is the maximum. So that will be the value over here. And medium plant alternative, we see 16,000 is the high. So we want to choose that here. And large plant, 20,000 is the largest value. So uh, we want to put that over there. Right? And then the maximum of these three values is 20,000. So the maximax choice will be $20,000 large plant. What about max mean minimum in row? We want to choose the minimum of these rows. 
uh, uh, so 7,000 will be the choice here and then 8,000 over here and then negative 16,000 there and then we want to choose the maximum of these values and 8,000 is the choice so under max min or uh, max min uh, uh, view medium plant is your choice third one is Laplace average and in this view I said you want to um, calculate the average of these three values 9,000, 8,000, and 7,000 and the average is 8,000 it's easy so it has to come there and amongst 8,000, 12,000, 16,000 you have to calculate that again and I think it's again 12 something thousand dollars and the last one is 16, 2,000 and 20,000 and uh, uh, looks like 2,000 is the value and you have to choose the best one and 12,000 will be your choice that's a minimum plant so that's how you are going to choose max min and max max and equally likely or Laplace values